Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to give you a brief demonstration about how to properly set up and save a document in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so for this presentation I have a, a business card that I set up for, you know, just a fake account. And what I've done is pretty much set up the bleeds, which is this red area that's above the actual page, um, which will be about a 35 by 2 business card. Um, and as you can see, the design actually extends past the edge of the page into the bleed area. Now this is really important and something that a lot of people forget to do. And I'll go over why you need that and um, how to save it for a printer to be able to use when they actually go to print your business cards. Uh, so to actually set up the, do the area for bleed, you would have to, when you originally set up your document, you can do it there. But if you want to do it afterwards, you can go into document setup. And you'll see at the top it has the bleed section, and you want to make sure this is linked. And then if you change that, that'll change the distance from the edge of the page that it actually is. And most printers will want at least an eighth of an inch of bleed. Um, that's usually a good setting to have. Um, so after you save it, you can see um, that this is actually extending to the red line and a little bit further. And uh, the reason why you do this is because when we print, we're actually going to be printing on a sheet of paper that's much larger than 3.5 by 2 inches. So when we cut it, we want to make sure that it's cutting right along the edge and that the color extends all the way to the edge and doesn't get cut off. And that way there's no white trim marks or anything like that on the edge of your card. So it looks nice and neat and it looks like it's uh, fully printed. So when you're ready to save it, when you're done with your design, you can go to File and you're going to go to Save As and you're going to make sure that it's clicked on Adobe PDF, which is the best way to send something over. So you're going to save that. I have that saved as a company. Um, I'm just going to replace it. And then this screen is going to come up where it asks you a bunch of settings. Um, something you're going to want to do is go down to Acrobat 8 and make sure it's the highest compatibility, just so that um, there's no problems when we go to open the file. And then you're going to go to High Quality Print. Um, and then finally you go down to Marks and Bleeds and make sure that trim marks are, are put on and that you also are using the document bleed settings that we set up before so that there's an eighth of an inch all the way around. Uh, you can go ahead and save that and then it should be in your documents or wherever you ended up saving it. And when you open it up you can see that uh, it has the trim marks on here which is just basically a guide telling us where we're going to be printing, uh, where we're going to be cutting, sorry. And you can see that it actually cuts into the design, and the design is extending that eighth of an inch outside of the actual printed page. So that's pretty much how you would set up a document uh, in Illustrator for uh, bleed margins. And that's the be definitely the best way to send it over to a printer uh, so that they know exactly where to print and where exactly to cut, and that there's no delays in your printing and everything runs smoothly. Uh, if you have any questions, my email is in the link below. Just shoot over an email. Thanks.